Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. So here is the lineup. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Manuel Akanji plays with Ricardo Rodriguez in the fullback positions. Denis Zakaria plays with Granit Xhaka in the center of the pitch. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Jonathan Tarr plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defense. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And so the battle commences. So Germany get the tournament underway on home soil. Scotland their first opponents, then Hungary and Switzerland. And Julian Nagelsmann, this young tactical innovator, is the man Germany are pinning their hopes on, Stuart. Well, he is, but he's got a very difficult job at the moment because Germany haven't played well in the run-up to this tournament. They haven't played well for quite some while, but they have a great record. I go right back to 1972 when they beat the Soviet Union in Brussels. A great tournament, great teams. Can they do it this time? They've got the home support. I'm not sure they're good enough, though. Huge block. Just can't get it past them. with the corner oh fantastic effort he made great contact but the keeper more than equal to it going short Andy Rudiger in position Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him.
1-0 then. Vargas. And Doye. Now the defenders know they need to get tighter. Across, lacking guile and accuracy. Granit Xhaka. Okafor. Well, patient passing could be the key to bringing themselves level. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. But it wasn't superb distribution by the keeper, that we can say. Zakaria. It's with Gundogan. Musiala. Kimi. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Zakaria. Terrific block there. Very quick thinking there. In behind for him to chase. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. There will be one minute added on at the end. Manuel Akanji. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, in the first 45, Yozua Kimi, difficult to subdue, always trying to get on the ball. What have you made of his performance so far? Well, I really liked his first-half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. And the ball is moving again here, with Germany looking to build on what was a positive first-half performance. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Rodriguez. On the ball, Noah Okafor. This looks more than decent. Opportunity. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Played over. Was it a great clearance? And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And there's the delivery. And efficient defending. Okafor. Well, that's the sign of a well organized defense. Thirty minutes left for play. Havertz. Germany in a position of menace. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Wonderful chance. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. A wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. Electing to shoot. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Shakiri. Good work from Germany to win it back. Kai Havertz. Will he play it in? It 
15 minutes left for play. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Plenty of support here. Havertz. And defensive play to be applauded. Well, do they have a goal in their future? They're giving it a go. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Playing it in. And the referee says penalty. And now to level the game. And slot it home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Here it is again, and he makes it look so easy. He sends the keeper one way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent finish. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Gundogan. Now with Havertz. Tony Kors. Tension building, still level. But they dealt with the threat posed. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Zakaria. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Well, the referee has decided that the injury is sufficiently serious for play to be stopped. Treatment required. So following the stoppage, back underway with a drop ball. And so the final whistle is sounded at the end of the game. The team's not to be divided. From the point of view of the hosts, how did they fare? Yes, Derek, they certainly weren't at their best today. But sometimes you just have to keep fighting, keep believing. And that's what they did. It's a well-earned draw in the end. Granit Xhaka, a dominant performance. Well, he just kept going, didn't he? And he was always going to be the one to get them back into this. Important goal, that.